Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's me, Irvin, with another Anime First Impressions. This is going to be one that is airing, I believe, exclusively to Funimation. I have not seen it on Crunchyroll, so I'm going to guess Crunchyroll is not releasing it, as well as I have not seen it on High Dive as well. So it's probably just uh, exclusive to Funimation right now. And the name of this anime is A Girl Who Chants Love at the Bound of This World. You know, a girl who chants love at the bound of this world. Very long name. So, anyways, guys, uh, before I continue, one, if you have not done so, subscribe to my channel. Hit that bell button if you guys want to know when I go live, when I upload a video. Secondly, guys, there's a bunch of first impression videos. I've lost count already of how many I've posted this far. So, make sure you go check those out and uh, give some love to those as well. Then, lastly, there is a spoiler alert on the first episode. I will say... Um, Highly recommend you if you don't want anything to be spoiled don't watch this point because this one does have a little bit of twists and turns and uh, If you watch this video, you understand why but if you don't want it to be spoiled don't watch past this point Okay, so this anime Kind of starts in a slice of lifestyle of a typical male character led anime and I remember me watching the first five minutes, I was like, oh, it's one of those animes. So the boy kind of has encounters with girls, and he's weird with them, and everyone is just kind of acting like it's normal, and he's just a jerk with people, and it's just one of those animes that, well, at least I feel like one of those animes that is going to be etchy led and I didn't really think much about it, and then I kept watching, and his dad supposedly died, and uh, he is told that uh, this guy that works for the school where he attends is going to take over his dad's uh, work that he didn't finish, and that if he ends up finding anything interesting around or receiving anything in interesting, uh, that he should um, retrieve it to this guy. So, um, for the most part, it's kind of normal. You meet his guy friend, you, you meet some female friends, uh, he at one point is, uh, experiencing or, or experience, uh, a bunch of weird thunder and that is affecting the city and, uh, his mom as well being a researcher is involved and, uh, at another point he receives a box from what I guess is from his dad and it's a weird, weird, um, relic that he receives and he finally finds a note and it says that by the time we found this note I would have disappeared but I'm still alive and that's from his dad so uh, he goes to a place where he's told to go to to find a girl and he finds this kind of elf looking girl she ends up kissing him and then she just kind of disappears uh, and then the professor and his mom show up at the beach and uh notice what happens and the guy pulls out a gun on him and says give me the relic blah 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 he starts talking about he starts ranting about how this relic uh explains the the can only can all can, can see the limit of the universe i mean it's just kind of very detailed and weird stuff that he, the guy himself the main character does not understand yet as well so uh as a viewer i was pretty confused as well uh eventually there is a bunch of lightning again, and he ends up uh, waking up at home, and it seems like everyone forgot of what happened. The professor doesn't remember. His mom doesn't remember. It almost seems like everything reset it, but according to the name of the second episode, which is already out as well, I can tell that they're actually, it's not resetting, but it's a parallel world. So, uh, it's going to be one of those time continuum uh, type of anime and I think it has potential it reminded me a lot of Island and Island came out I believe the fall of last year or maybe the summer of last year and Island had an interesting first episode but it was just kind of laggy and boring and this one kind of seemed the same way it seemed like you know it is interesting, and there is stuff that hooks you to kind of want to watch the next episode. But it also is very slow, and it also makes you kind of just not watch it. So, I don't know if it's going to end up like Island, where 
you watch a 24 episode and 20 minutes of it is just boring and 4 minutes ends up being the hook for the next episode. So, I don't know. I could be wrong. But out of 10, I'm going to give this one a middle ground of a 5 out of 10. I'm not really sure if I'm going to continue watching this one. Uh, maybe if Funimation decides to dub it, I might end up watching it. But as of right now, I just don't see myself watching or continuing watching this one. Uh, it's just, I don't know. It, it was really putting me to sleep for the most part. So, uh, I could be insulting someone's favorite anime. And I'm so sorry if I am. You can insult me all you want in the comment section below. But uh, that you are, uh, you have all the right to have your opinion, but also as I. So, anyways, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Make sure you check out more first impressions that I have in my channel. I have quite a bit, and thank you guys for all the love and support. And like always, don't be strangers.